Okay, so what is a widget, a WordPress widget? What are WordPress what are WordPress widgets? Um they're basically containers or they contain information that are located on the right side, right column side of your website. So um you have several different type of widgets that you can use. These uh, pieces of information that they hold are available throughout the time the visitor is on the website so whatever is contained on that widget can be accessed to your um, this is accessible to your user anytime they're visiting your website so if they're on a post reading something about uh, something random maybe a something about a uh, shoes or whatever it may be your you know your website is steam shoes and you're talking about Reeboks or Nike or whatever and it's on a certain page on your website on the widgets the widgets are still available it may contain links the widgets may contain links contain um, information uh, extra information in text it may contain a search bar it may contain um, several things so let's look at what a widget uh what how uh the widget is used let's go to appearance let's go to widgets okay let's see the widgets now you can you can place widgets anywhere that uh that the that's available here like you have the second front page area and then you have um uh, the main sidebar area you have the first front page widget area uh, however, we're going to use this, the main sidebar. So what you may see right here, let's visit, it says search and recent posts. You have the search bar right here and you have the recent posts bar right here. Now it doesn't matter where I go. Let's see if page, if you go to page, it still appears right here. The, the content, the, uh, information, the search bar and the recent posts. So your widgets, let's see here, let's go home. Let's go to a post called Love is Great. So it doesn't matter if it's a post or a page. It doesn't matter. And these are the two areas where you will find content is, is either in the post or the page. You will find your widgets sitting right there waiting for you to use them. You'll find your um, the information on a on a left column in the right column area where your um, widgets have played a part in placing this content here. So your widgets is the is the search. This is the standard WordPress uh, websites uh, widgets. Okay, so let's see. Let's check out other widgets. Now you can access widgets right here as well. Let me see here. Widgets, appearance, widgets. What's widgets? Let's see. We can add as many widgets as we want. Let's see. We can add a calendar widget. These are all built-in WordPress widgets. You can add a title to it. You can add an image widget. You know, add an image or whatever image you want. You can add a, a opt-in monster widget. A opt-in monster widget is the opt-in box for uh, adding um, subscribers. Uh, let me see. I haven't. I, I don't think I have activated that plugin. But you can add. Um, whatever widgets that you have here to um you can add an rss widget okay and then you can put the details in here all right and press done and press done after you add the image and once you've completed all all of these they're automatically saved press visit site and as you can see right here my widgets and if I add information the other widgets will uh, allow content to be, to appear here that is basically that's that is basically what widgets are widgets are placeholders for content that appears in your website for your used users to engage with throughout your website whether it's if you're on a page again if you're on a page or if you are on a regular post uh, the widgets make it uh, make it possible for content to be available throughout your website okay thank you all for joining me my name is Jermaine and um, 
this is another tutorial from web hosting throne you can visit us at web hosting throne.com google us at web hosting throne subscribe to this uh this this particular post on um, video post my name is jermaine thank you all for joining me join us in the next tutorial y'all take it easy have a nice day